I have one problem though. What's that? Down there at the other end. Yeah. That brace down there is in the mud. Howdy from down on the farm. It's time for another Friday farm update. Our apologies for missing you the last week or two. I have been sick and I'm mostly better, but I'm still congested. So summer colds, they seem to take a little while to go away. Let's go see what the farmer's doing. <laughs> Hey farmer, what's he doing down here? Oh, finishing off this fence. Had this doing this fence in mind for quite a while, just because it'd be nice to have a good fence down here to keep animals off the road. So with the dog coming up, it's kind of necessary now. Right. I have one problem though. What's that? Down there at the other end. Yeah. That brace down there is in the mud. That's not cool. No. And when I just went down there and checked on it. And I pulled my my fence, stretched my fence. Well, now it's the posts are look like they're trying to pull up out of the mud. Mm, what do you do about that? I don't know. Hope that it stops. Cement? Maybe. But problem is now it's all stretched. And how do I, you know, how do I get the post back in the ground if it ends up pulling out? I'm gonna go check this out. There's a garden. Wait, in here there's an orchard. Chickens are way down here today. So when I first came down here, yeah. this is my first clue. See that? Yeah, it moved, huh? Yep. So as I stretch the fence, it's pulling that way. And so I came down and looked at this. And it's even... Oh, it's really bad. And there's and water in Yeah, there. if you can see, there's water in the hole. Just um, had some cement. Yeah. What's happening is the, and it's trying to pull everything up, so this is wanting to come out of the hole. I need to get a tractor in here with a bucket and press it down and dig around it, and then fill it with cement to hold it down, put around a little bit around it, and pour cement in there. And mm -hmm. You wouldn't even have to mix your cement, just pour it in there dry, and it'll just absorb water out of the ground and harden up. What you doing over here, ladies? Find shade. Nice shade from the apple tree. I'm gonna take you through the orchard real quick. This is an apple tree. We have some baby little apples. And I don't know what kind because the farmer is in charge of the orchard. And this one is a cherry tree. And the farmer ate all the cherries off already. All oh, like three of them. Our elderberry is doing pretty good. I rescued that one and another one from the nursery discount rack last fall. And we thought they died, but they're doing okay. And along with that, we got a current plant doing okay, but I don't see any fruit there. Our house caps are doing fantastic though. You can see there's a berry left on there. Some of our smaller plants are over here. These are maybe three or four years old. These ones are much older though and bigger and they have a lot more fruit. So I say had because has cap season is in May and so they are done. We got a small bowl full of fruit off of them <clears throat> and the birds got the rest. So these really need a net over them and we just haven't done that yet. It's on our project list. They've got mint, peppermint, and chocolate mint growing here along the house. This area is shaded almost all of the time and so we thought mint would be good to put here because mint grows anywhere and there's not that many things you can grow in full shade and it's doing okay. Is pretty contained for mint. Lavender is in bloom and doing great. Hi, Hi tiny farmer. Are you playing in the whisker store? Yeah. Oh good. 
This lavender bush is super happy and I need to harvest and dry it soon because it's budding. The bees are super happy with it though. I don't really want to disturb them. And then we have another variety of lavender. This is a lighter color lavender. Little bees are loving it. Our grapes are doing fantastic. We're gonna have a big harvest this year. And you can see all the bunches there and there. So we've got a table grape and a wine grape here. I don't know which is which. A couple weeks ago I did film the garden down below, but then I got sick and couldn't edit. And now we're going to go see what, it's, what it currently looks like. So you saw in one of the videos I did manage to get up our chamomile. If not, I'm going to put it here. The chamomile is growing all on its own here and it may have to come out so we can keep planting. And then the borage reseeded itself all over the place. So that's in the way that's going to, have to come out of the garden. Down here the farmer just planted my calendula flowers. You can see them in here in the straw. And then we have two rows of purple beans, some there and some there. <clears throat> My green beans didn't all come up, so we may just have a lot of purple beans this year instead of green ones. Here in this row, we're testing out some hibiscus plants. They kind of like tropical weather, so we'll see how they do out here. We've got a whole row here. My plan for the garden this year was to alternate a vegetable edible with a flower of some variety to help bring in pollinators but also because we use a lot of the flowers in our tea and so our garden's doing double duty with the companion planting this way and you can see we have straw mulch here and then we have the wood chips here we haven't been able to get any more wood chips since the first load so we're having to resort to the straw which I don't like so well it's harder to get it around the plants and it does not keep the weeds down as well but it's better than nothing like over there this is either cabbage or broccoli i don't remember which one I'm thinking it's cabbage though looking at the leaves so we have a roll of that and then we have beets in here so they're starting to get big enough to harvest so a whole row of beets, and then we've got bachelor buttons here. We've been harvesting these for a couple of weeks now, getting them in the dehydrator. If you want to know more about bachelor buttons and what we use them for, we're going to link a video here. We did a whole video on just bachelor. Tomatoes are doing really good. We have another row, another row of bachelor buttons here. These are broccoli. And then we have borage that we intentionally planted here. And farm boys hot pepper plants there. And we've got raspberries we planted here. They need a trellis. So we're gonna go check out the greenhouse real quick. And then the greenhouse is in between stages. So in the summer, we don't grow a whole lot in here. It's just way too hot for most things. So I may try a few tomatoes and some of the hibiscus we have left. I'm going to plant in here and compare and see how it does in the greenhouse versus out in the garden. So at the moment, we're watering seed starts that haven't made it out in the garden yet, mostly squash at the moment and cucumbers. 
and then cleaning the greenhouse. So earlier today I took out the peas, tore out the big tall mustard greens that were almost touching the top of the greenhouse. So those are done and cut down the celery that I didn't get to. The rest of this needs to be cleaned out, but straight down the middle, there are more bachelor buttons. These ones aren't just blue, they're a wild flower mix, so they're pink and purple and white and blue as an experiment, just for fun. Is there's a grapevine over the door of the greenhouse, and the grapes are doing fabulous. You can see how big they are already, and it's only June. That concludes our Friday farm update. We hope you enjoyed it. So thanks for joining us on the farm and we will see you Monday for our next Herbal Monograph Monday. Have a great weekend. Say Fiacra's farm. Fiacra. 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 Thanks for joining us on the farm.